السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو ڈاکٹر طارق اروائی کے ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از اباؤٹ مائکروسکوپ اینڈ مائکروسکوپی اینڈ مین ٹائپس آف مائکروسکوپ اینڈ دا سب ٹائپس آف مائکروسکوپ سو بی کنیکٹیڈ اینڈ بی کنسنٹریٹیڈ ٹو لرن مور لیٹ اسٹارٹ آور ٹاپک ود آؤٹ ویسٹنگ ٹائم سو مائکروسکوپ واٹ از مائکروسکوپ اینڈ ویئر وی یوز مائکروسکوپ بیسکلی مائکروسکوپ از این آپٹیکل انسٹرومنٹ اٹ یوزڈ فار The visualization or examination of very small objects that cannot be seen by the human eye. That structures are known as the microstructures, such as a cell tissue and the cell organelles and their structure. We can examine by the microscope. So, what is microscopy? Basically, microscopy is a observation that we gain by a microscope. And there are two ability or uh, some. Power of the microscope, first one is the magnification and the resolution. Magnification, ability of microscope to enlarge an image of a very small object. And second is the resolution, a resolving power. Basically, it's the ability of microscope to distinguish or separate a very, very small distance between two very small objects that cannot be distinguished by the human neck die. And the relation between resolution and the wavelength of the light is inversely proportional if there is the shorter wavelength then will be the greater resolution if there is the greater wavelength then will be the shorter resolution what are main types of the microscope there are two main types of microscope first is the light microscope second is the electron microscope these names are given by the as a source of illumination for light microscope we use a visible light as a source of illumination and in electron microscope we use a electrons of high velocity as a source of illumination and what are the sub types of light microscope there are many sub types of light microscope first we start from the bright field microscope and one by one we will dis- discuss each first bright field microscope most commonly it is used by the students and the researchers in the labs and there are five main parts of the bright field microscope first one the illuminator illuminator function is to produce a light beam for observation second is the condenser lens condenser lens its function to focus the lights produced by the illuminator on the objects or specimen for examination and the third part is the stage stage is used to put a specimen on it for examination and the fourth part is objective lens objective lens function is to collect the light that have been focused by the focus by the condenser lens and pass through the object objects and there are four objective lens in a microscope first three have a magnification power of 4 10 and 40 times and the fourth one has a magnification power of 100 times and the fourth one is known as the eye immersion objective lens and the fifth part is the ocular lens ocular lens also known as the eyepiece lens or eyepiece and its function to show our uh, the image of the objects gained by the ocular lens and its resolving power is 0.2 micron and the magnifying power is 1000 times to 1500 times and we category categorize the microscope on the basis of the presence of the ocular lens if microscope have one ocular lens then it's known as a monocular microscope if it has a two ocular lens then it is known as the binocular microscope what is l immersion technique basically its need or its use is for the need of to increase the resolving power of microscope in this we immerse the objective lens and the specimen in the layer of a transparent oil of high reflectiveness in this way the numerical aperture of the objective lens increased that's why the resolution power of the microscope also increase and how can we prepare a specimen for a bright field microscope or light microscope there are four steps one by one we will dis- discuss first one is the fixation fixation basically is the process is the step in this we preserve our tissue specimen or stabilize it to avoid from autolysis in this 
the preservation of the tissue structure using biofixatives that causes stabilization of the proteins that results in activation of the cellular enzymes that can cause autolysis the most commonly used fixative is the formalin formalin basically is a 37 percent solution of the formaldehyde gas in the water and in general purpose we use only 10 percent solution of the formalin and what the second step is the embedding embedding basically is the step in which we the fixed tissues may make more harder for sectioning in this the embedding agent is a paraffin wax paraffin wax is a solid at room temperature and the liquid at 60 degree for the embedding we put the specimen and the paraffin wax at 60 degree for heat in a small cubical containers after that the paraffin wax infiltrate the specimen completely in incubator and after that we lift it for cooling and make hard cubical block the third stage is a sectioning for sectioning sectioning means to make small sections of the specimen slice for observations in this the machine is used known as a microtome to make very small or cut slices of the cubical blocks that use for staining their thickness may be 3 to 10 micron meter and the fourth process is the staining why we need staining because most of the our body tissues are colorless that's why we need staining to make some contrast there are two types of staining first one the acidic stains and the other one is the basic stain acidic stain the coloring properties present in the dyes is the radical radical acidic radical of the neutral salts so structure that gain the acidic stain known as the acidophilic and they show the pinkish to reddish color and the most commonly used acidic dyes are the eosin acid fusing and the orange g and the picric acid and the second dye is a basic dyes yeah basic stains and this is the coloring property present in the basic radicals of the neutral salt and structure that stain by the basic dyes known as the basophilic structure and the co most common basophilic dyes are hematrozeline toledilene blue and the methylene blue and the structure in this the show the color light blue to deep blue or maybe purple color and a second type of micro light microscope is a polarizing microscope in polarizing microscope the there are two polarizing filters and in this microscope uh, the light comes out vibrating in one direction what are two polarizing filter first one is the polarizer and second the analyzer polarizer present between present below the condenser lens and the analyzer present below between the objective lens and the actual lens only an isotropic structure can we examine by the polarizing microscope the structure that show the double reflective index known as the anisotropic structures by refraction or double reflection is the capacity to rotate direction of the vibration of the polarized light and the anisotropic they exhibit by refraction or double reflection isotropic object they show only uni refraction or one directional refraction third types of the light microscope is a contrast microscope phase contrast microscope in this the objectives are uh, examined based on the lights passing through the regions and they the light deflected at the different angles and their different indexes show the intensity of light differences in this way the object the light passes through the object length they show the length and they show the different effective index that show the intensity of light the fourth one is the dark field microscope dark field microscope basically in this the light 
कैन पास थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द लेंस लेट पास थ्रू द साइड्स ऑफ द लेंस इन दिस द ऑब्जेक्ट व्यूड एज अ ब्राइट एंड द फील्ड सीन एज अ डार्क बैकग्राउंड दे आर डिफ्रेंशिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द बैकग्राउंड द फिफ्थ टाइप इज द फ्लोरिस माइक्रोस्कोप द फ्लोरिस माइक्रोस्कोप वो यूज द एरिड एंड ऑरेंज फॉर द स्टेनिंग मेथड बेसिकली फ्लोरिस यूज टू यूलाइज द डी एन एंड आर एन ए बायोकेमिस्ट्री एंड द लास्ट वन इज द कन्फोकल माइक्रोस्कोप ऑफ लाइक माइक्रोस्कोप टाइपिक एंड कन्फोकल माइक्रोस्कोप इज यूज टू एलिमिनेट आ आउट ऑफ फोकस लाइट कन्फोकल माइक्रोस्कोप इज यूज फॉर द आउट ऑफ फोकल फोकस लाइट एंड दिस द शार्प फोकस विद हायर रेजोल्यूशन इज प्रोड्यूस इन दिस वी गेट टू इम्प्रोवाइजेशन फर्स्ट वन इज द लेजर इ स्मॉल पॉइंट ऑफ द हाई इंटेंसिटी लाइट एंड सेकेंड इज द इमेज डिटेक्टर लेंस एंड इमेज डिटेक्टर लेंस इ प्लेट विद द पिन होल अपर्चर प्लेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इमेज डिटेक्टिंग लेंस सो नाउ स्टार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप बेसिकली इन दिस वी यूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ हाई वेलासिटी द एंड देयर बीम विल बी वन ओवर द टू थाउजेंड टाइम्स ऑफ द लाइट एंड द देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप फर्स्ट इज द ट्रांसमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप एंड सेकेंड इज द स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन इन ट्रांसमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन पास थ्रू द ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड इन द स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑनली स्कैन्स द ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड दे कैन पास थ्रू द ऑब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप इन इट द बीम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज डिफ्लेक्टेड बाय द इलेक्ट्रोमेट्रिक फील्ड इलोमिनेशन इज एक्सलेटेड इन अ वेक्यूम एंड लाइट इज फोकस्ड ऑन द फ्लोरसन स्क्रीन आर द फोटोग्राफिक प्लेट बाय अ सीरीज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोमेट्रिक फील्ड Its resolving power is two nanometer, and its magnifying power is one lakh twenty thousand times. Second is the scanning electron microscope. It is used to view a surface of a solid specimen. Electron don't pass through the specimen, but in the transmission, electron pass through the specimen. But in scanning, electron don't pass through the specimen. Electrons. Only scan the surface of the solid specimen coated with the heavy metals like uh, gold or the palladium. So how can we prepare a specimen for the electron microscope? The same process, four steps: fixation, embedding, and the sectioning and the staining. Fix for fixative, we use glutaryl aldehyde and osmium tetroxide. And for embedding, we use the epoxy resins and in sectioning of the light microscope the machine used as a microtome but in the electron microscope ma machine for sectioning is known as the ultra microtome and slices size range from the 40 to 100 nanometer